I urge all of the companies to try this out. So nowadays, we at Dream Data, we can attribute in the data-driven attribution model, actual pipeline sales accepted leads to at least $1 million a year, last year. So I ran the report for last year. We had attributed deals to organic social above 1 million of actual pipeline. Imagine that, just to that one source without any paid, anything at all. And I did not run the report for this year, but it's already above that of what we're seeing. So it does increase year after year. So that's mostly for inbounds, but there's uh, outbound in the mix as well. So last year we almost did not run any outbound. And that's also the lucky part of it because there is so much activity going on that we are so lucky to have a lot of inbound. We're starting this right now for outbound and it definitely helps both for outbound, but also for reactivating dead deals or even to keep yourself on top of the mind of your buyers. So now you're mentioning, well, you're getting a lot of cold calls, call emails. We're tired of this. And we're talking a lot about personalization or personalization being relevant and so on. I see social selling as nurturing one to many. Because if you connect with the right people and talk about the problems that they care about, they will always know what you stand for, where your title says this. And if you are speaking about the problems that they care about, not just the thing that you fix, they will always know. Like only 5% of all of your target audience that you're speaking to or trying to reach out to are actively buying. The rest is just marketing's job. So for you to not have to send those mass emails, which also is getting harder and harder, it's much easier to stop stay top of mind like that. The waiting between should we hire another USDR and get more volume or should we start doing social selling? This is not possible to measure what is going to help out for you because you've never tried that thing. But you know what can you can get out of that volume. And if that volume is getting lower and lower, that's where you know that you have to start to look for other sources to do something else. And once you started to do it, then start to look for people who are actually engaging with it and find it exciting in your team and enable them first. And once that core team is in and you can see some results out of it and you do that mindfully, there are a lot of techniques how you can do your mindful outbound through LinkedIn as well, then it will be easier to get the whole rest of the team in there. And if you want, we can talk about how to actually do that mindful outbound outbound, which is also an exciting topic.